Hi y'all, Catherine Scovelet with Health Inspire sharing with you today some breakfast inspiration. And about 78% of us, according to one source at least, says that we eat breakfast, which I'm glad to hear it. I'm a big fan of breakfast and I define breakfast very loosely because breakfast to me is something that I eat anytime between when I wake up and before lunchtime. So it might look like a full blown breakfast and it might just look like a snack. It doesn't matter. The fact is, is that I am fueling my body so that I'm not only thinking about food while I'm trying to work. You can't work that way. So here's what it looks like for me at home when I'm racing out the door because I had kids to feed and get to school and get to work and what it looks like when I'm traveling. So I will share with you, um, I'm not opposed to eggs, I'm not opposed to bread, and I love all of it. So a lot of times I'll have toast with eggs, avocado, and fruit, any variation of that. And when I say eggs for me, that means one egg and one egg white typically. So I get the protein um, and not all the fat. I use avocado because that's a good kind of fat and I am fully addicted to Dave's bread so I buy the thin sliced because that thicker slice was doing me in. So I'll have just one piece of that. Um, when I'm racing out the door, a lot of times I'll grab a yogurt and a piece of fruit. And sometimes at home, I'll have yogurt with fruit cut up in it or blueberries thrown in it. Or I'll even get a big bowl of fruit and put the yogurt on top of that and mix it up. When I'm traveling, it could look like Starbucks because Starbucks has English muffins and eggs. And I will get their English muffin and egg and mix the sausage and the cheese. I don't do the breakfast meats. That's yucky to me. So at least you can eat healthy being a mom, you can eat healthy traveling, you can eat healthy even with kids at home. You can, you just have to decide that those are the choices you're going to make before you get there or you pack. Always pack a yogurt and never ever leave home without a piece of fruit, maybe a baggie full of nuts. I am also the person who will overeat nuts, so I have to really truly baggie what I'm gonna eat. Y'all, so many of us are affected by that, regardless of our size. So I portion control. You can only eat what you have. So I hope that helps you. And your action step is for you to write your three to five go-to breakfast so that when you are in a rush and you're racing out the door, that you actually do take an extra 30 seconds to grab something healthy before you race out the door to work or wherever you're heading. So remember, please live healthy, please dream big, and please be bold. Health inspires. Now go do it.